Alright, so in the crock pot today, we've got our first farm-raised rabbit that our friends gave to us. A little homestead not far from us. We're trying out rabbits. We got, uh, let's see, we got onions and garlic and Worcestershire sauce, it looks like. And some soy sauce and some brown sugar. And now I'm doing some salt. Seasoned salt. Yeah, happy salt. Happy salt. Pepper. And I also put some chicken broth in there. And we're gonna let that cook for what, seven, eight hours today? Yeah. Nice Sunday meal, put it on about nine o'clock, be done around five o'clock-ish. Make some potatoes and garlic, cheese garlic potatoes to go with it. So. We'll let you guys see the finished result and the food before we enjoy it. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. We will see. Good morning, YouTube Alanda. And people who watch the farm. We are gonna do some work today. We got lots of work to do on the farm. We gotta build some chicken brooder tops. We got topless brooders. <laughs> Anyways, April won't find that funny. Mom Mom, that's crude, but it's funny. Sorry. All right, so we're gonna walk out here and you can see that got our raspberry bushes. I don't think one of them may not make it, but I don't know, we're not sure. And we getting ready to put our fencing around our garden over here. I don't know if you can see that. So we're getting ready to do that. And but we just took a couple days off because I got a bad arm and it's kind of hurting and trying to do the best I can with it. So we're gonna flip the camera around here and Show you the duck and chicken release. Now we've been letting them out. I hope this ain't getting too windy. We gotta figure out a way to get the wind to be better. But we've been letting them out free ranging because so far every night the ducks have come home. We haven't lost any chickens to hawks or anything. Got our heavy duty door block right there. See, two couple bricks. All right, here we go. My kind of my favorite part. Washington chicken ducks make a run for it. Anyone know how to fix a tractor? It won't start. I don't know how to fix a tractor. Let's see, what's the best angle here? Ducks always crack me up. They have a hard time with that little three inch border. Alright, that's everybody. Let's feed them some food here. Oh, oh. I kind of covered the chicken with food, though. Sorry, chicken. I guess the ducks don't want food this morning. We'll put that out there for the day. And, oh, I know what they want. They they want some of. I don't know if they have any more. I do a little bit. They want flock party. Look at them. Look at them. They're all like woo, 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 woo. covered another chicken with food. So, oh, they love their flock. They love their little mealworms. I got another box. She got some on her wings. So, and that's our little one over there. That's Pidge. She's my kind of my favorite. But anyways, that's our morning. That time morning, the ducks are already headed down towards the swampy area over there. It's okay as long as they come home at night. So, okay, well. Uh oh, we have broken egg this morning. That's not good. I made this wonderful nest box. And we got some chickens that lay in it. One, two, three, four chicken eggs this morning. There's some of the duck eggs. And we broke an egg. I don't know why that happened. That's unusual. Well, these are kind of dirty. They, they are nasty. They are really messy. They are nasty eggs. This morning. Oh, they're out of water. Well, I'm going to set them all in here until I get them. 
I get something to collect them in, so. Oh, look at them nice duck eggs. They're so nice. So, if anybody's got any ideas on how to get the ducks to use the nesting boxes, I mean, I put hay in them, of course, but the chickens took it out. So if anybody knows, or has tips, on how to get ducks to use their nesting boxes, we are open for information on that. Well, there's our morning duck egg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven duck eggs, four chickens so far. I'm sure they got more to come, but so yeah, that's our morning and here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be putting the truce on these guys today. As you can see, the chickens are, I wanted to do slanted, but I don't have the material. So this year we're just going to put some roofs on them and then we're going to do some more stuff later. Um, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to be uh, building some boxes. I'll put it on the tripod. You can watch, I'll fast forward some of that. You guys can watch us do some roof building or me do some roof building. That's my son comes out and help. Ooh, got a chicken coming in this morning. Come in. Oh, I guess I scared her off, so we'll get out of here get, so she can do her thing. Pidge! See, Pidge? I know, Pidgey. Go on, go out with your chickens. She's my special chicken. Alright, so we're just going to kind of set this up. I'm trying out the camera, so I'm sorry if it's shaky. I'm new to this. And we're going to... I'm covered in chicken sh <laughs> my shoes are. Okay, I've never cut this type of metal before. So, I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people on YouTube showing them using this type of sheet metal and they always got it cut. So I'm going to actually show you trying to cut it live. Well, not live this day, but on the video. So. I got a pair of tin snips here, and that ain't gonna work. I can't really get this down. It didn't work, but it ain't working. So, I'm gonna have to go with a power saw. Okay, I don't have big tin snips, so I've got a flexible metal cutting blade on a reciprocating saw. We'll give that a shot. Nothing now. <laughs> Headphones, good things. So here's our first brooder top. We said we we're going to show you as we went along. A little piece of we bought from one of our local hardware store places. Some two by fours, odd end scraps. Anyway, trying to pull in one of my odd end boxes. And so what we can do is pull it up. And over here I just found an old gate latch. We just hook it up like that. And then we can get into the babies. Show the show the we can see our chicken in there. I don't know. That's our pet chicken. She likes to be a pet. But this is our uh, first one. 
So it should work. It works. It's, you know, bring about homesteading, farming, modern homesteading, whatever you want to call this. Uh, and then you just grab it and unhook it. Lower it back. And we'll hold it there. We're good to go. So that's one. A big one and another little one to go. Yay. Well, here's the rabbit. It's out of the crock pot. Super tender. That was a big rabbit. It was a t nine pound rabbit, actually. Really? Wow. Nine or ten, something like that. So here's the meat. Oh, man. That is excellent. Super tender. It tastes just like chicken. I mean, it just doesn't have no flavor. I mean, it has the flavor. It's really good. It's still got all the spices, so. Yummy! Might have to get some of these little critters. Mm. <laughs>